getting up in the morning, studying for an important exam, following through with all your workouts, or staying on a diet. All these goals require one important thing, self-discipline. It cannot be inherited, bought or stolen. You can only create and maintain it yourself. But to help you get started somewhere, we compiled a list of factors that will help you to build that discipline. It comes at no surprise that procrastination is lethal to being disciplined. One usually tends to procrastinate when major things, for example studying for a math exam, are due. But psychological research indicates that individuals who took on the hardest task out of various tasks first were a lot more consistent in the work and finished the given tasks faster. Plus, they feel a lot better throughout the day because they know the hardest challenge is already done. Next on the list are temptations. Researchers have found out that humans and animals alike have a limited amount of ability to resist temptations. And the more we are confronted with our temptations, the harder it becomes to keep resisting them. But luckily, there is a simple way out of this. Once you make the decision to remove the temptation from your daily life, you will think of it less and less, and therefore it will be less tempted. For example, a child really likes chocolate, but is told to not eat it. The child will find it almost impossible to not eat the chocolate bar right in front of it, but if the chocolate bar is stored out of sight of the child, it will not think of it for an extended period of time and lose interest quickly. Following the removal of temptations is another key point to building your self-discipline. Building small but consistent habits. Integrating new and demanding routines to your everyday life will feel hard to most people. It's similar to quitting a long addiction. Cold detoxification doesn't always work and subjects are prone to relapse. But if the addict slowly removes the substance from his life, it will be a lot more bearable for him and therefore he will more likely succeed. Same thing with small habits. Start small, but keep it consistent and get better every day. Doing this, there are two components who are pretty similar. The things you achieve throughout your journey and how you view them. First of all, set specific time-based and realistic goals. If you want to lose fat and look good, don't expect to do so in four weeks, because that is not physically possible for anybody. Second, acknowledge the achievements you've made on your way and reward yourself. It may seem odd, but our brain really does make activities that we are rewarded for more likable for us. And last but not least, never skip the lag day. I know that a lot of people don't really like it, but that's exactly why you should do it. Over time, you will get used to tough tasks, and this will help you to perform better in every aspect of life. Moreover, activating the largest muscle group in your body has shown to increase the distribution of testosterone in your body. It also helps with potential posture problems, since you are strengthening your glutes, an essential muscle for good posture. So, to simply sum it up for you, it's 1. Face your hardest task first. 2. Remove the temptations. 3. Integrate small but vital and consistent habits in your daily life, for example reading 10 minutes or working out 30 minutes per day. 4. Set realistic, specific and time-based goals. 5. Reward yourself for achievements. And 6. Never skip lag day. Like the American entrepreneur, author and motivational speaker Jim Rohn once said, Discipline is the bridge between goals and achievements. You got this. If you found this helpful, we would be happy if you could drop us a like and subscribe our channel for more science-based and fitness-related videos.